and that only leaves why. Why have they done this? What's the point of this grand deception? I think Eric Dubay explains it best. That's right. Yeah, I mean, our eyes and experience tell us the Earth is flat and motionless, and everything in the sky revolves around us. But when we cease to believe our own eyes and experience, we have to prostrate ourselves at the feet of these very pseudo scientists who are blinding us, treat them as experts, astronomical priests who have special knowledge only they can access, like the Hubble telescope. So by brainwashing us of something so gigantic and fundamental, it actually makes every other kind of lesser indoctrination a piece of cake. <laughs> Earth being the flat, fixed center of the universe around which everything in the heavens revolves gives a special importance and significance not only to Earth, but to us humans, the most intelligent among the intelligent designers' designs. By turning Earth into a spinning ball thrown around the sun and shot through infinite space from a godless Big Bang, they turn humanity into a random, meaningless, purposeless accident of a blind, dumb universe. Mm -hmm. So it's like trauma-based mind control beating the divinity out of us with their mental manipulations. Uh, people are always asking, you know, why do they do this? I mean, this is... I mean, other than the obvious profit margin motive, NASA being the biggest black budget black hole in existence, sucking in over $30 billion taxpayer money for the fake moon landings alone. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, hundreds of billions of dollars, and not just NASA, but RASA and all the other fake space organizations around the world giving CGI images for hundreds of billions of dollars. So this modern atheist Big Bang, heliocentric, globe Earth, chance, evolution, paradigm, spiritually controls humanity by removing God or any sort of intelligent design and replaces purposeful divine creation with haphazard, random, cosmic coincidence. And so by removing Earth from the motionless center of the universe, these masons have moved us physically and metaphysically from a place of supreme importance to one of complete nihilistic indifference. If the Earth is the center of the universe, then the ideas of God, creation, and a purpose for human existence are resplendent. But if the Earth is just one of billions of planets revolving around billions of stars and billions of galaxies, then the ideas of God, creation, and a specific purpose for Earth and human existence become highly implausible. So by surreptitiously indoctrinating us into their scientific materialist sun worship, not only do we lose faith in anything beyond the material, we gain absolute faith in materiality, superficiality, status, selfishness, hedonism, and consumerism. If there's no God and everyone's just an accident, then all that really matters is me, me, me. <laughs> so they've turned Madonna and the mother of God into a, the material girl living in a material world. Their rich, powerful corporations with their slick sun cult logos sell us idols to worship, slowly taking over the world while we tacitly believe their science, vote for their politicians, buy their products, listen to their music, watch their movies, all sacrificing our souls at the altar of materialism. <laughs> it's, it's a big... It's a big deception. I'd say it's the, the biggest cover-up and conspiracy in history. We've been completely deluded for 500 years. So, there you have it. There are a great many other points I could have raised, and I've barely scratched the surface. But if any of these points are true, then we have to abandon the model we've accepted thus far. Now, I don't know for sure that the Earth is flat. But I've seen enough evidence to make me strongly feel that that is the case. And moreover, my spidey sense, my intuition, tells me that this is true. I don't know what's beyond Antarctica. It could be a dome. It could be an infinite flat plain. It could even be just more Earth. More Earth than we realise, just as Admiral Byrd found. There are many who think that ultimately this is unimportant and just a distraction. But I see this as one of the most important revelations we could ever have. If this is the case, if this flat earth is our universe, then it elevates man and this earth to supreme importance, where every life, human or otherwise, is significant and sacred. And when we all realise that, then the world, the universe, changes.